In what clearly is a big setback for the Congress is the loss that has come in from the state of Chhattisgarh. The BJP winning over 50 seats, in fact 54 to be exact. And one of the leaders who lost this election was the former Deputy Chief Minister T.S. Singh Deo. And he's joining us live. Uh, Mr. Deo, you know, you lost by a narrow margin of 94 votes. But nevertheless, a loss is a loss. My question is, why do you think the Congress did so poorly? Good evening, Maharaj. Good evening to all the viewers too. The BJP did well rather than the Congress did poorly because uh, even the details you are showing on TV indicate that the Congress vote share has not reduced. And the BJP has managed to jump uh, from 32 to 46 percent. A 14 percent vote share increase is uh, huge. Uh, how that has come about, why that has come about is what needs to be looked into and uh, retrospected on. And I'm sure the Congress will be doing that. Well, they have uh, won. So congratulations. And uh, will you accept that the tribal vote has shifted away from the Congress to the BJP? And uh, the BJP and particularly Prime Minister Modi's tribal outreach has uh, yielded dividends for them? Not really. Uh, in the sense that the tribal vote has shifted, that there is little doubt on that. Because among the uh, 26 seats in uh, Bastar and uh, Sarguja division, 12 in Bastar and uh, 14 in Sarguja, the Congress has been able to win only four. And those four are from Bastar. Congress did not uh, succeed in winning uh, even one seat in uh, Sarguja uh, commissionary area. So that is uh, quite unbelievable, very sad, very unfortunate. But that's the way it is. That's the way it is. And uh, rather than the outreach, I think uh, what has uh, stood them in a good stead uh, is the program they launched for women and the way they went about it. They went to uh, each uh, household. They took a 10 rupee registration fee and uh, they had forms filled in. So that has uh, been a huge, uh, huge uh, benefit for them. How much it translated into vote share, I really cannot comment. But uh, on the ground, we felt it very, very palpably and very strongly. So they succeeded there. We could not keep the uh, Sarvadivasi Samaj together. This was a social organization who were not into politics. Various uh, people with various political ideologies were part of that grouping. But somehow they drifted away, formed a political party and contested. So those were issues uh, which we were not able to uh, address, I suppose. So rather than an outreach, uh, the fact of the matter is that uh, the local situation probably needed uh, a better handling. Would you also say that, uh, you know, there was the corruption allegation against the chief minister and also almost like a personality cult that was built around Bupesh Bagel that may have been responsible because on the other side was collective leadership? There was no allegation against the, uh, no action against any political person uh, in the Congress. Some officers were apprehended. They are still in jail. And uh, sadly, this politics of uh, allegations was brought about just before the elections uh, in the name of this Mahadeva. There too, the ED took out a press note indicating the chief minister's name, whereas they stated that there is no electronic trail. Yet this matter has come up, so we'll look into it. You know, a very, very irresponsible sort of uh, uh, allegation as if they are working for a per per particular political purpose. But they succeeded, succeeded in doing that. And the action taken against officers earlier and some other people earlier, I think uh, it did add up to this sort of a perception, particularly in urban areas, not in rural areas so much. But uh, certainly I think in urban areas, these issues uh, uh, did make an impact. Would you say that, you know, the Congress could have projected uh, a united front in the sense that projected a collective leadership of Mr. Bagel and you, because you were the deputy CM, rather than going with just one face of Mr. Bupesh Bagel? We didn't go with one face. Uh, we went uh, with the collective leadership. And uh, if you see the pamphlets and posters that the party uh, put up in hoardings or otherwise, even in newspapers, you had the PCC president, you had our chief minister, you had Charandas Mahanji there, you had Tamradha Sahuji there, 
uh, I was also uh, part of that collage. Uh, we had uh, Shail Jaji there. Uh, we had the central leaders. So it was a clear uh, message that we are fighting this uh, under the collector, uh, collective leadership of uh, Congress persons. The team was being headed by the sitting chief minister. That is true. But it was a team which was functioning. And uh, the responsibility lies with each one of us. Um, you know, the question will also be asked, what next? In the sense that if you have lost a state which, were, which you were poised to win because none of the exit polls gave it to the BJP and you have lost it really with a huge, huge margin in, in, in the sense that number of seats between the, U, between the BJP and the U and, and you. Would you say that, you know, going ahead in 2024, this would be a big headache with the tribal votes having shifted away uh, from the Congress party? For one, I don't think the tribal vote has shifted away. You know, one tribal seat we lost by 14 votes. Another tribal seat, uh, that, that is Kankir. Another tribal seat we lost by about 100 or 200 votes. Uh, that is Pathalgaon. Another seat in the tribal belt we lost by 90, 94 votes, which is uh, my seat. There would be other seats in this tribal belt where the margins are not so large. So this shifting, uh, this... Uh, uh, Presentation of tribal votes having shifted from the Congress, I do not think it is true. Yet, there are seats in the tribal belt which we have lost by largest majorities. So, we need to look into all of that and uh, uh, take a call and see how we can uh, get the uh, voters on board the Congress bandwagon. My last question to you, Mr. Dio. Uh, the concerns will be certainly as to what Congress did wrong. But more than anything else, I want to understand from you, uh, who will take the blame? Where do you think the Congress went wrong in the sense, were, were, were you too complacent? Did the Congress take these elections in Chhattisgarh for granted? Frankly, no, because uh, no matter what we were saying in the media, in all our uh, private consultations, uh, all our party consultations, we were very aware that it is a contest. So we don't announce that in the media that uh, we are uh, seeing that it could be a close contest. That is the worst way in which you could probably fight an election. But to say that we were not aware of the situation uh, is also very incorrect. Because now I'm sharing with you uh, what we were discussing uh, behind closed doors. And uh, we were not seeing ourselves as losing. Like you mentioned, uh, none of the media surveys uh, showed the Congress not forming the government. But uh, we were very aware that uh, 10 seats majority is what we are looking at. What we were looking at was 52 to 62. If you average it around 55, which is what the BJP has got, which like you mentioned is a very big mandate, it is far smaller than what we had in 2018. We had 68 seats. We had three by-elections, uh, which we won in fact five. And our numbers was at 71 sitting MLAs. From there, the BJP is today at 54. This is not such a large mandate. And it is not as if we were not aware of it. We were fully uh, knowing that this is the way it is. And when you see uh, fractions or when you see uh, targets or you see these slabs, a little here and there and uh, things can change. So we are aware. We are very aware of that. There was no complacency. There was confidence. And each time we talked about the confidence, we always talked about not being overconfident. I'm sharing this with you because you asked. Uh, and that is the fact of the matter. That we lost, uh, we have to accept. And the uh, responsibility, if I have lost in Ambikapur, it is my responsibility. And then whoever's responsibility at whichever level, uh, we all must stand up and take that responsibility, not put it on anybody else's shoulder. If I have lost in Ambikapur, it is whole and soul my responsibility. At any other level, whoever was responsible, it is their responsibility. All right, but what about the Chief Minister? Will he take Everyone, responsibility ABCD, as well? The outgoing Chief Minister? ABCD, EF. Uh, we, we cannot make a stipulation for one and not for the other. It is for every one of us. Every candidate who has not succeeded, but first take the responsibility on himself or herself. Okay. Nine of our sitting ministers we lost. So how can we put that responsibility on a third person before taking the responsibility on ourselves? And then, of course, the uh, higher uh, you are uh, placed, the greater is the responsibility of every one of us. All right. T.S. Singh Deo, thank you so much. I appreciate your time for thank you, TV. Thank you,